What is boiling? Boiling. Um. Boiling. What is boiling water? It's kind of that state of water where a liquid goes to the gas phase. The molecules start moving a little quicker. If it's water, it evaporates. So it reaches about 180 degrees. The temperature of water reaches 100 degrees centigrade or 212 Fahrenheit. Oh, and it strikes a bubble. And what's happening in those bubbles? Can't um, tell you that. Boiling is water gets really, really hot and bubbles all around, and at a certain temperature, I don't remember which one. Uh, when a liquid turns into gas? That's a very good answer. What is boiling? Sir, what is boiling? It's a change from liquid to a, or, yeah, liquid to a gas. Okay. Let's start with something that you've all seen, so you just have to bear with me for this. We're gonna boil some water. But it's gonna take a little bit, so you bear with me. I'll just do a little dance here. What is the boiling temperature of water? Um, 100 degrees Celsius. The really correct answer is 100 degrees Celsius sometimes. Can you read me the temperature there? Let's see where we're starting from. 58. 94, that's good. That's going in the right direction. We have uh, 97 Celsius. And what do you see happening inside our bowl here? Trying to get little bubbles. What's our temperature there? 98, 99. Here, what do you see there? 100. 100. Is the temperature going above 100? Please say no. No. It's only going to 100. At sea level, the boiling temperature of water is 100 degrees Celsius. When, when a water molecule gets to 100 degrees Celsius, it vaporizes. And that means this evaporation, the transformation from liquid to a gas, is happening not just at the surface, but throughout the volume. It's happening inside the liquid as well as at the surface. That's part of the definition of the boiling point. It's the maximum temperature which it can exist as a liquid. We'll turn that off there. You put a bunch of heat in there. Anyone want to put their fingers in there? Sadly. <laughs> no. Now, here's the second thing you need to know about the boiling temperature of water and the boiling temperature of any liquid. It's dependent upon air pressure. The boiling temperature of water is 100 degrees Celsius, 212 Fahrenheit at sea level. Let's take some water. This is just tap water here. What do you think might happen to the boiling temperature of water if we go up a mountain? It's gonna change. Do you know if it'll go? Do you think it might go higher? I'm gonna take this bell jar here. It's hooked up to a vacuum pump, okay? The vacuum pump's gonna extract the air from the bell jar around this beaker of water. I don't have any a flame here anymore, right? Just a beaker of water. Watch what happens to the water in the beaker. What's it starting to do? It's starting to boil. What's it doing? It's boiling. It is boiling in every sense of the word. I need you to put your finger into the boiling water. Will you do that for me? Be brave. Be brave. You're a brave man. Would you do that? Lukewarm. Bath water. Bravely, we boiled it at 30 degrees Celsius. If you drop the air pressure far, far enough, the boiling temperature comes down with it. Next time you're at the top of Mount Everest and you want to make yourself a cup of coffee, water boils at about 70 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to take another substance that boils. I don't have to do anything except pour it in a cup. It's nitrogen. This is a liquid. Who wants to tell me what it's doing? Bubbling. Nitrogen's boiling point is minus 196. So the air around it and this beaker and all and the sunlight are contributing to an environment about 200 degrees above its boiling point. So while that's boiling away, something else cool happens. See a liquid there? Mm -hmm. yeah. What in the world could that be? Water. Could be. What's the, what's the freezing point of water? Zero. See those drips there? Yeah. That's a liquid condensing out of the air. It's doing the opposite of boiling. It's coming back into a liquid, and it's coming back into a liquid at a temperature of about minus 183. And that liquid is oxygen. It's only forming there because the temperature of the outside of this vessel is minus 183 or lower, which it can be because it's full of liquid nitrogen. What does oxygen do? Helps Ignite. things? Ignite. Right. Provided I get it. That's, the, that's how we test to prove that it's oxygen. There we are! <laughs> okay, pop quiz time. When you boil water at sea level and you apply as much heat to it as you can, can you raise the temperature above 100 degrees Celsius? No. No. So if you wanted a hot cup of coffee at the top of Mount Everest, can you get one? No. no.
Oh, because the Starbucks are closed, no demand. <laughs> and finally, is boiling only associated with things that are really hot to the touch? Apparently not. No. Why not? Because it's easy shorter. That's right. <laughs> 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 That's right. Liquid. Stay with us to find out how well.